I think the cool two thirteen. Passes, you could do uh, continuations on them. You can Saturday have a pass eleven a.m. Pass in that you don't know what parallel programming is doing before sure. that you can uh, tell it what to do whenever it's done. Um, really, really handy stuff. Um, the thing with tasks is their syntax can be confusing. Um, a lot of people, especially good programmers, will, will use uh, lambda expressions or anonymous delegates when they're creating their their tasks. And uh, newbies have a lot of trouble figuring that out by looking at it. They're like, what is this arrow doing in the code? Uh, and until recently, you'd have to go through the task factory to create a new one, uh, in, at least in, an, in a quick and efficient manner. Uh, but now, they, they actually added uh, a dot run on the static method. So you can do task dot run and give it an action, and it'll just take it. Um, so tasks are. Are, are pretty sweet, and we'll still be using a little of them uh, today in the demo uh, because the tasks are, are actually returned as part of the new pattern. Uh, so we'll get to that in a minute. Anyone have any questions on these or comments for that matter? Okay, so we'll switch to the code example here. Um, and actually, for this, I might just sit over here. So, uh, what we've got... Alright, so the, new, the, new, the two new keywords with, uh, with uh, C Sharp 5 in, in, in Visual Studio 2012 uh, are async and await. Um, async is used on your uh, uh, method prototype to, to uh, signify that somewhere in there you're going to be doing um, somewhere in there you're going to be doing uh, uh, asynchronous tasks and, and to, to keep an eye on that. Um, uh, the, the async methods can return either void or a task object and the task can be the typed or untyped task. So let's see here. Probably not